today I'm going to be making mini cheesecakes with a mini cherry pie filling on top. Now if you're anything like me, you love cheesecake, and these are mini bite-sized ones that are sure to leave you, your friends, and family begging for more. Make them with me. For this recipe, you're going to want to get out two 8-ounce packages of cream cheese and two eggs, uh, at least a few hours ahead of time to let them come to room temperature, and the cream cheese will soften. This is always good advice for baking. Let your eggs and your butter and your cream cheese soften and come to room temperature. They'll mix better. First step, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. All right, we need 12 ounces of crushed vanilla wafers. So, we gotta crush them ourselves. You got a lot of pent up rage or kids that wanna help out. This is a good part for them. Alright, these are crushed enough for me. Um, ideally, you probably want to go into more of a powder. I just, I don't have patience for that. Then you need a mini muffin pan. Um, I don't have mini muffin wrappers, so I'm just using regular size wrappers. So normally they don't come out this much. But what you do is you take half a teaspoon and put it into each spot. And this is the crust of our mini cheesecakes. All right, there we go. Half a teaspoon of crushed vanilla wafers in each one. We need to beat together the ingredients for the cheesecake itself. Put in your two packages of thawed cream cheese. Oops. Uh, I would get an icing spatula at this point to help with everything. It's nice and thawed. It's going to mix really well. Three quarters cup of sugar. Now we're going to beat these together until light and fluffy. Okay, it's pretty light and fluffy. Now we need to add in two eggs. I'm going to add the eggs in one at a time on a slow speed. Once it mixes in, speed it up a little. And here's a good technique I once learned. Um, periodically stop your mixing and scrape down the sides with your icing spatula. Because a lot of times your beater will beat them up on the sides and they don't mix anymore. So this helps ensure an even mix. It's a useful technique. And I would just do it at a high speed for a minute. And now we need to add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we need to put the cheesecake mixture into our muffin pan. I'm going to use the tablespoon to fill it. It says fill each one almost to the top. So I mean, so really, about a tablespoon does it really less even. Now 
Now that we've got our mini muffins filled with the cheesecake and with the crushed vanilla wafers, we need to bake them in our oven at 350 degrees for around 15 minutes. When they come out, we're gonna top them with a little bit of cherry pie filling and then eat these delicious bad boys. Okay, now that these have been cooking for 15 minutes, I'm gonna get them out. They look good. They smell like cheesecake, obviously. It's just a traditional cheesecake, but in smaller quantities. Find a container to put them in, and I would take them out immediately. Uh, in my case, I have to keep reusing this muffin tin because it's the only one I have. The recipe makes 48 of them. So if you've got four of these, go for it. Once you get them out, we can put a scoop of our cherry pie filling on each one. It's a tedious recipe, but the results are really cool. I mean, if you don't want a huge slice, this is a good alternative. Oops. Yeah, try not to let them fall over. Okay, let's try one. All right, and now we're to the best part. Got one of the mini cheesecake bites right here. Still a little warm, but it's not going to stop me from enjoying it. Mmm. Really good. Cheesecake is by far my favorite dessert. And these are just what they say. They're mini cheesecakes with some nice cherry pie filling on top. They're good. You can make a lot of them in one batch. And they're fun to eat, honestly. So, if you want some nice, good mini cheesecakes, Look no further.